Reading through the Psalms, Day 36. Psalm Chapter 36 A revelation is within my heart about the disobedience of the wicked. There is no, no fear of God before his eyes, for he flatters himself in his own eyes, too much to detect and hate his sin. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He has ceased to be wise and to do good. He plots iniquity on his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He doesn't abhor evil. Your loving kindness, Lord, is in the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Your righteousness is like the mountains of God. Your judgments are like a great deep. Lord, you preserve man and animal. How precious is your loving kindness, God! The children of men take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They shall abundant, be abundantly satisfied with the abundance of your house. You will make them drink of the river of your pleasures. For with you is the spring of life. In your light we will see light. O oh, continue your loving kindness to those who know you, your righteousness to the upright in heart. Don't let the foot of pride come against me. Don't let the hand of the wicked drive me away. There the workers of iniquity are fallen. They are thrust down and shall not be able to rise. Psalm 86 Hear, Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am godly. You, my God, save your servant who trusts in you. Be merciful to me, Lord, for I call to you all day long. Bring joy to the soul of your servant, for to you, Lord, do I lift up my soul. For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive, abundant in loving kindness to all those who call on you. Hear, Lord, my prayer. Listen to the voice of my petitions. In the day of trouble I will call on you, for you will answer me. There is no one like you among the gods, Lord, nor any deeds like your deeds. All nations you have made will come and worship before you, Lord. They shall glorify your name, for you are great and do wondrous things. You are God alone. Teach me your way, Lord. I will walk in your truth. Make my heart undivided to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with my whole heart. I will glorify your name forevermore, for your loving kindness is great toward me. You have delivered my soul from the lowest shield. God, the proud have risen up against me. A company of violent men have sought after my soul, and they don't hold regard for you before them. But you, Lord, are a merciful and gracious God slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness and truth turn to me and have mercy on me give your strength to your servant save the son of your servant show me a sign of your goodness that those who hate me may see it and be shamed because you lord have helped me and comforted me psalm 136 give thanks to the lord for he is good for his loving kindness endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his loving kindness endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his loving kindness endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, for his loving kindness endures forever. To him who by understanding made the heavens, for his loving kindness endures forever. To him who spreads out the earth above the waters, for his loving kindness endures forever. To him who made the great lights, for his loving kindness endures forever. The sun to rule by day, for his loving kindness endures forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his loving kindness endures forever. To him who struck down the Egyptian firstborn, for his loving kindness endures forever, and brought out Israel from among them, for his loving kindness endures forever, with a strong hand and an outstretched arm, for his loving kindness endures forever. To him who divided the sea of Suf apart, for his loving kindness endures forever and made Israel to pass through the middle of it, 
for his loving kindness endures forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his army in the sea of Suf, for his loving kindness endures forever. To him who led his people through the wilderness, for his loving kindness endures forever. To him who struck great kings, for his loving kindness endures forever, and killed mighty kings, for his loving kindness endures forever. Zion, king of the Amorites, for his loving kindness endures forever. Og, king of Bashan, for his loving kindness endures forever. And gave the, their land as an inheritance, for his loving kindness endures forever. Even a heritage to Israel his servant, for his loving kindness endures forever. Who remembered us in our low estate, for his loving kindness endures forever, and has delivered us from our adversaries, for his loving kindness endures forever. Who gives food to every creature, for his loving kindness endures forever. O oh, give thanks to the God of heaven, for his loving kindness endures forever. This series is part of 50 days of reading through the Psalms during the counting of the Omer, the time between First Fruits, or Resurrection Sunday, and Shavuot, also known as Pentecost. In the biblical feast of 50 days between the festival of First Fruits, or First Harvest, to Shavuot was also known as the counting of the Omer, the countdown from God's deliverance of Israel from their oppressors when they were finally free after the crossing of the Red Sea, to the day of Shavuot in remembrance of the giving of the law. This was just a foreshadowing of the ultimate deliverance of Christ as Redeemer and Savior, who was slain as a Passover lamb on Nisan 14, and rose again on that third day as the first fruits of all believers, delivering us from death, just as the Israelites were delivered from certain destruction at the Red Sea. Instead of the giving of the law at the day of Pentecost, God again gave himself through the baptism of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. You can learn more about Pentecost and the Feast of Weeks at raisetowalk.org slash 26.